Gregory, how are you feeling about time? Right there. It's pretty challenging to pitch an idea, especially when you're so passionate about it. You have to be a great cook, and you also have to be a salesman. And not all of us are great salesmen. He seems to have more than two dishes. And a whole fish? Beautiful. Gregory, tell us what your concept is. Han is a Haitian-inspired, wood-fired concept, and it's the Haitian Creole word for cane. One of my fondest memories of living in Haiti when I was a child was the cane man. He would come around and he would sell sugar cane. We'll start with the oxtail. In Haiti, we have a marinade. It's called epice, which literally means spice. Plantains are a huge staple in Haiti. They're simply sauteed with caramelized onions. And then we are finishing with a whole fish marinated in cilantro, lime, garlic, and a little ginger, then roasted in the wood-fired oven. How do you want the Haitian community to embrace this restaurant? Do you think the dishes are authentic? Yeah, I started cooking with my mom a few years ago. And you know, at first, I really wanted to learn the fundamentals. And I felt I grasped that. And I think there's room for seasonality. Thank you, Gregory. Thank you. This is so good. Can't stop eating the oxtail. And it's interesting, and it's got a point of view. Mm -hmm. It would be exciting to have a Haitian restaurant elevating Haitian food so that a larger swath of the population can try it. How you doing, Gregory? Good. <laughs> Everything looked beautiful. Savory men. Savory men. So you choose a couscous, arugula, or pita. Lamb, your, chicken. Your protein. So this follows the model of a very uh, successful burrito place. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's a good That's a good concept. Yeah. yeah. Hi. How are you, Carl? I'm fantastic. Welcome to uh, Savory Med. This is a Mediterranean fast casual concept. People online may look at this and go, well, I don't know what goes with what. You kind of mix and match, throw a bunch of different goodies on top, and no matter what you get, you're going to be like, these are bold, exciting flavors that all go well together and sort of like idiot proof. I do like that almost all of the combinations would work. Today, it's lamb and paquillo pepper stew in a couscous bowl. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Carl's dish is really tasty. It's spicy, but not too spicy. One problem I see with it is all these really great fresh herbs. That's kind of hard to pull off on a consistent basis. But that said, five days a week, you got to have lunch. This would be in the rotation. Now it's delicious. I thought the combination of flavors was really, really good. It's investor worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Abishar and Shona, tell us what you made. We prepared a lobster sunomono, double cream, coffee, and stout reduction inside with carbonated grapes and free coffee on top. What were you guys going to do prior to the mashup? I was going to do more of a curry double cream underneath with beer, because beer was my ingredient. And instead, we focused on textural components and different flavors. It's really nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I absolutely loved Abishar and Shota's dish. It was beautifully composed. Lobster's perfectly cooked. And I love the richness of the sauce. It just sung to me. Coffee and beer are, are going to be bitter, but they balance it with some sweetness. And then I think a modern technique of carbonating fruit, it's a great time to use this. That fizz at the end, you're like, oh, that's interesting. My plate is empty. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Melissa, uh, for my premi, I made a chicken annellini with a yuzu parmesan brodo. But put a little bit of an Asian twist to it. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. Melissa's brodo is interesting. The use of the yuzu was very delicate, which was what I was expecting. And you also really tasted the parmesan. The flavor from the rind and the broth really made a difference to the depth of that clarified stock. Questo yuzu col parmigiano è veramente un balance incredibile. I mean, this is a good plate of food. Tell us what you made for your secondi. I made a scallop with a prosciutto XO and radicchio. Chinese XO is a chili sauce that's often made with dried scallops. I decided to put the XO on top of the scallop. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you like the dish that Melissa gave you? I love it because uh, I love it, the combination of Chinese food and different culture together. Between the saltiness, the chili, the butter, full of flavor. When she said she was making an exo sauce, I was afraid it would overpower the prosciutto, but it didn't. I loved it. Good job, job. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, you're working as a team Thank here. you very much, Shoda. I'm trying. <laughs> wow, this looks beautiful. Well, let's start with you, Jamie. I made a kimchi tofu soup, bulgogi braised pork, eggplant, and steamed rice to soak up all the flavor. I love having kimchi with my rice, so you eat it like a stew. Jamie's soup is delicious. It has the flavor that I was hoping to get from this soup. Putting the 
rice with the eggplant and pork and then having the soup separately so you can eat it on its own. She really thought through how to package the dish. Yeah. The eggplant's really flavorful. It's cooked nicely. And Jamie really crushed the braised meat here. It's not easy to pull off in a couple hours. I think there's some good sour notes in here. You got this, Jamie. 